Excellency, ASEAN Economy Ministers, Speakers, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good noon. First of all, allow me to say that I am very honored to give this keynote speech on behalf of the State Councillor of Myanmar, <coughs> Her Excellency Do Aung San Suu Kyi. I would like to express my appreciation to the governments of the Republic of Philippines and the ASEAN Business Advisory Council, ASEAN BAC, for hosting and organizing this Prosperity for All Summit under the themes Driving Growth Through Micro, Small Enterprises in Trade, Services, and Agriculture. ASEAN BAC was formed in 2002, and since then, events such as this has been organized annually by all ASEAN champion host countries to enhance the interactions and engagement between public and private sectors. This regular engagement clearly demonstrates the commitment of ASEAN governments in acknowledging the important roles of the private sector in economic development and regional integration. Excellency, <coughs> distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we all are aware that the establishment of ASEAN Economic Community, AEC, has created both opportunities and challenges for micro, small, and medium enterprises, MSME, in our regions. In order to maximize this opportunity and to meet the challenges MME needs to adopt strategies so as to be better conducted, better resources, and better engaged in the competitive environment of AECs. This is why the interests of MSME have been placed at the center of the AEC agendas, and we are bringing together and enable from both the private and public sector who can help draw blood, support and empower MSME and broaden economic development in the accordance with AEC goals. As we all know, globalization and regionalization processes have enabled the expansion of trade and investment between nations and intensifying competition between businesses. The greater integration of the ASEAN region with the global economy also makes our regions more vulnerable to Eastern shocks. In this respect, the private sector's innovation capacity is important to promote the competitiveness of our regions. ASEAN countries must also pursue closer regional cooperation and ensure policy coordination for the advancement and better management of our regional integration projects. Small and medium-sized enterprises account for more than half of the world gross domestic products and employ almost two-thirds of the global workforce. In acknowledging this, the UN member state agreed in September 2015 on a new development agenda comprising seven sustainable development goals for the next 15 years. Of these, goal number eight is the encouragement of the formalization and growth of micro, small, and medium sex enterprises. With the establishment of the ASEAN community in 15, there has been growing interest and confidence in the prospect and opportunity for businesses, both big and small, in the regions. SME as a key driver and contributor to the GDP of ASEAN economy account for up to 99% of all business establishments <coughs> and generate between 51 and 97 so employment in ASEAN member states. The contribution to SME to GDP generally stand between 23 and 51, 58%. SME enable greater participation and integration of women and youth in the economy. In the 21st century, it is SME 
that's uh, at the frontiers of technological advance and innovation. AEC 2025 focus on the developments and promotions of micro, small and medium enterprises, enhancing the principle of good governance, promoting green developments and exploring digitally enabled countries, economies. As a significant contributors to economic growth, employment generating and gender empowerment in ASEAN, the MSMEs of ASEAN are becoming an increasingly important force in regional economic integration. Their development and process are important to ASEAN as MSMEs are active in multiple spheres of economic activities and their wide reach and diversity plays in the unique position to play a role in helping ASEAN meet the goal of equitable economic development. In this respect, the ASEAN Strategy Action Plan for SME Development 2016-2025 South to strengthen the engagement of MSMEs in an <coughs> increasingly competitive economic environment and to support their growth and development through the visions of globally competitive and innovative SMEs. To make this happen, the plan emphasizes an implementation roadmap. Using country champions, maximizing resources, including those from our dialogue partners, and conducting periodic monitoring and evaluating of outcomes. The overall MSME achievement will be tracked through a set of key policy indicators and other operational measures to be developed further. Excellencies, distinguished guests, distinguished de delegates, ladies and gentlemen, the major challenges of SME in Myanmar are similarly to those faced by SME across the globe. Access to finance, weakness in related technological knowledge, domestic and international market assets, scarcity of skill level, poor availability of timely and reliable market information, underdeveloped infrastructure, high transportation costs, and a lack of favorable taxation and incentive system are some of these common challenges. Taking this opportunity, I would like to share our government's ongoing effort for SME development in Myanmar. Among Myanmar's 12 economic policies adopted last year, the promotion and assistance of SMEs are generators of employment and growth have been highlighted. Moreover, Myanmar economic policy aims at formulating a balanced economic model that will actively support the agriculture, livestock, and industrial sector to achieve inclusive development, enhance food security, and increase export. In accordance with these policies, we place particularly emphasis on several develop sectoral developments, particularly agriculture and agribusiness, and on increased access to finance for SME engaged in agriculture and the processing and value adding of agricultural products. Towards this end, we are also trying to utilize and transfer necessary technologies and technical assistance from international development partners and organizations. We aim at assisting the development of SME by substitution involved with domestic products from local SMEs and encouraging enterprises to export. This will also help reduce foreign exchange outflow and decrease our trade deficits. To provide increased access to finance for SME, NEMA has prioritized financial support for those SME that can promote import substitution and export items. At the same time, as technology is, is changing very rapidly nowadays, it is crucial to ensure that our SME continuously develops the productive capacity of their human and internet resources to utilize new and advanced technology effectively. Since 2015, a development policy for SME has been in place in Myanmar aims 
at achieving the sustainable growth for SME to support social and economic development of the country and to promote active participation in ASEAN economic community in line with its various free trade agreements. To reduce the development gap within ASEAN as well as between ASEAN and the rest of the world, we need to integrate ASEAN SME into global value chain GVCs. This remains a daunting challenge. Trade costs, logistic problems, and business risks are identified as the main obstacle when SME trying to participate in and benefit from GVC. To overcome these obstacles, the use of e-commerce can help SME reduce transaction and distribution costs, access efficient trade procedures, mitigate logistic troubles, and find appropriate and effective IPR protection to enable SME to manage business risks better. In order to enhance the competitiveness of MSME in ASEAN, to expand their trade and investment, and to successfully integrate them into GVC, we need to improve our physical and financial infrastructure, remove formal and informal barriers to trade and investment, and educate, equip, and encourage labor, management, and entrepreneurs. If we can meet these challenges successfully, MSMEs in ASEAN will become more competitive and integrated more effectively into GVCs. This will narrow development gaps in the regions, and ASEAN future growth will be driven through MSME, which is the aspiration behind or the theme of this prosperity for all summits. As I conclude on this note, may I say how much I am looking forward to today's discussion, which I believe will be most stimulating or fruitful. Thank you very much.